how to remove the hash symbol in your URL on Flutter web. If you remove right now the hash symbol, then simply everything after it will be removed. So if I reload the website, you see he is going to the root of the website. To fix this, go to your main method and before you run your application, you want to call the method setPassURL strategy. And secondly, make sure to call before it this widgets flutter binding method. And with this, the URL is not supporting the hash symbol anymore. So if I remove here the hash symbol, then he will correctly navigate here to this page. And finally, to make use of this pass strategy, you also need to go to your pubspec YAML file and here under your dependencies, you need to include the URL strategy package. So all in all, running your Flutter web app locally in the debug mode should work fine. However, as soon as you are deploying and hosting a production website and then you navigate here to your custom route on Flutter web, the server will respond with a 404 file not found error. To fix this error, you have to change the server configuration by creating an htaccess file on your server. And inside of this htaccess file, you have to redirect all of your unknown routes to this index.html file where your single page Flutter web app is running. So you need to create this htaccess file at the same level of your index.html file. In my case, I use GitHub pages for hosting here my Flutter website, whereas for GitHub pages, this htaccess file is not supported. A general solution for all servers is therefore to simply create a new file, which is called 404.html. And then you need to go to your index.html file and here inside you basically copy the whole content and then you go back to your 404.html file and here you paste then the whole index.html file inside. So all in all, on your server you have created this 404.html file on the level of your index.html file or you have created this htaccess file. Let's also try it out. So if I reload here my website, then you see it is working again also on my production website. In case you don't want to clone your index.html file to your 404.html file, then you need to do the server configurations. So here you have different servers. We looked already at the Apache server where you need to create this htaccess file with this content. However, you also have here different servers, the Node.js server, where you always have here different kind of configurations which you need to follow. Also the Firebase hosting is supported. And finally, what is the difference between the hash strategy and the pass strategy? If the client is making a request to the root of the server, it will simply return the index.html file, which is basically our Flutter web application. On the other hand, if the client requests any other URLs from the server, it will not find the file on the server and therefore the server returns a 404.html file. In case you don't have this 404.html file on the server, then it returns a 404 error in your browser. With the pass strategy, we simply had to rewrite all URL paths that the server couldn't find to this index.html file. On the other hand, if you use the hash strategy, the part after the hash symbol is not sent to the server and therefore the server will always return the index.html file, our Flutter web application. So the advantage is that no additional server configuration is required. After loading this index.html file from the server, the client, in this case Flutter, will pick up the last part of the URL and navigate on the client to this correct page. And by the way, if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel.